okay so after seeing uh, how our data is uh, classified because we are solving the binary classification problem so by uh, by doing the analysis of the target distribution we know our data is not imbalanced data but it's not balanced also for now it's not a problem in the modeling we will see if we need to take some uh, some precautions to handle the class balance and imbalance but it's not imbalance data because 56.7 percent are belong to one class and 43.3 percent belong to the another class now moving further uh, as a beginner as a plain as a knob data scientist what i can think uh, let's why not to be analyzed first how's the passenger profile like what are the genders how many male and the female they have what are the uh, in which class they prefer to fly so we have some factors if you see in the data set like uh, customer type age type of a travel and the gender so and what is the class in which class they are uh, they are happy to fly so these kind of the uh, i have to say categorical variable we have to be visualized first so what i'm going to do i'm going to create here new markdown that is uh, my passenger so these four things i'm going to uh, plot in the one uh, one plot in the one grid by using the subplots and uh, one of and one of the most uh, benefit is that uh, most of the things we are going to use from the first plot i am analyzing the my passenger profile so that is my subtitle here it will be the change it not changed so two rows and two columns i'm going to do little bit increase the figure size that will be the good for us and uh, this is yes for the first type i am going to analyze what type, what is the how much um, how much percentage of the male and how much percentage of the females are participating in this survey data so in the first axis i am going to do this one and it's very easy if you go with the help of the pie chart because it is a, again univariate analysis you are going to do so nothing here i have to do what i need to do i just need to copy this one from here and i have to be put here then then it will be the change uh, to the gender and uh, this is the x is one x is one and uh, okay if we plot so we will get like this so 50.7 percent of the female and 49.3 49.3 are of the male are flying with uh, are, are participating in this uh, survey data so this is uh, something like that uh, we can do and uh, you can increase this uh, font size as well here font size you can give a little bit big okay it will look a little bit uh, nice so i have to be add more uh, i have to be add the more axis so uh, again it is a univariate so again i'm going to use the this one uh, same plot but i have to change here the axis same if you change the axis here and you have to write here the customer type and now you want to plot in the first row but in the second column so the row is first but should take all the space from the first second uh, column now and this should be the customer type this should be the customer type and it's uh, very easy to do you have to change here the axis to axis to okay so uh, loyal customer are the 81.7 percent whereas disloyal customer are the 18 18.3 percent okay and after this what we need to do we have to be analyze the class so same i have to be change this one and uh, now it's turned to the first row but it should again the first column so up to the first column it should take the space now access 3 should be I'm doing the necessary changes here. Is access three? Okay. When I uh, plot the class, so if you see here the eco class, business class, and the economics class, economics plus class. But here, uh, because my target color is only taking the two color. In the starting of the video, you see it's taking the two color. So I have to be add one extra color here. One extra color here. I have to be add in this list so it should be classified into the three class and i'm i have to be explored uh, the explored is uh, divided in the two points but he, i have the three variable here so if you want to use explored you have to be uh, give the three points to 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 break the pie chart but first i have to be add here one color 
and I'm, I'm adding this color and let's see how it is okay so economics plus are the 7.2 percent where the economics are the 45.0 percent and business are the 47.8 percent but if you see in this full analysis we are using the code again and again so better to that we can write one function which can generate this one that's i leave on you if you have any doubt you can ask me how to do that one and the last uh, passenger profile is about the age so age i need to be do a little bit different because it is not uh, the categorical it have the uh, real values so i have to be plot here the kd plot that is a kernel density function so for first i need to define uh, this uh, i have to give the axis so ax4 should be now and this also ax4 and it should take all the space from the second column and the uh, second row and it should be the age of passengers okay and i have to plot here the kd plot so sns kd plot so we can use the kd plot okay so this is the age of the people but uh, let's uh, fill uh, if we have one function if we give the fill is true then it will look like that fill is okay so fill is true so we have the age of the people and i can see it is a by model function because we have the two mod here it is near about the 25 and it is near about the 43 age of the people we have here so to make it more attractive let little, little bit uh, do the editing of the and remove this spin as well because we not have the spin here change the tick parameter size we what we have ax4 ax4 dot uh, tick which axis i want change the x axis what i have to do uh, make it big size so front age 8 similarly for the y axis as well oh not font sizes should be the label size due to that error came so label size okay so this tick parameter is uh, now in the big size i have to make density and the age is as well in the big size so change the label size that is the age of age of pupil and uh, it should be font size should be 20 and I'm giving the weight as well bold similarly density so x4 okay let's remove the spin so how we remove the spin for spin in ax4 dot spin dot values this one we see in the target distribution spins dot set visible false okay you can do like that as well but it's not according to me look good but what we can do here if uh, to make it more interactive i can add i can find the mean value and i can add the mean line so how to add the vertical line that is very simple ax4 dot ax v line that is a vertical line function i'm going to use then uh, df dot age uh, directly using the mean mean function and uh, this line style uh, we can give as uh, okay so this is the mean mean is near about the 39 and uh, to know okay this line is a mean what you can do you can give the label as well because now i give the here the label averages but it's not uh, appear here because i have to give here the ax4 dot legend you see this is the averages i can increase the font size as well okay so this is the averages and uh, okay this is enough give the plt dot show at the end okay so this is the passenger profile i have uh, i analyze the gender i analyze the customer type i analyze the class and i analyze the age of a people and i know near about the 39 age is the mean of this uh, of the people who are participating in the survey 
so this is about uh, we classify but uh, here i use again and again the same code you have to be uh, we have to be think like that it will be the smooth and in the generalized way so we can use anywhere okay this is the one thing uh, as i say here the customer type loyal customer are 81.7 percent and this loyal customer 18.3 percent but how we know that out of loyal customer how much are the satisfied and how much are the dissatisfied out of disloyal customer how much are satisfied and how much are dissatisfied out of female how much are satisfied and how much dissatisfied that means i have this analysis now i'm going to take this analysis one step ahead that how how much people are are uh, but how much people are beneficial from this uh, analysis uh, that what uh, we going to discuss in the next video i hope you like this video if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, this uh, next analysis we will meet you soon in the next video uh, up to that thank you and let's enjoy the this kind of a visualization if any kind of a question please let me know i will happy to help you thanks and bye bye